It is our rapid fire college football bowl game recaps. We're going to try and do all of them at one sitting. All of them, he says. In in about 25 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. We're going we're gonna to shoot for it, all right? So uh, it's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You could have bet on all of these bowl games. We bet on most of them. Yeah, we did. Uh, we Actually, yeah, I think I bet on 90% of them. I bet on, uh, maybe not 90, but I bet on a lot of them. I, I mean, there were very few that I missed. Uh, I, the ones while I was in Chicago, that's about it. That's about it. I bet on everything else. Uh, luckily, I was 60% against the spread, so feeling That's pretty good. good about that, That's or 61%, good. whatever. Um, let's jump in. Who's counting? Let's jump in. Oh, tunicatravel.com, place to go. Go check that out. They got all six of the sports books. I didn't even finish the ad. <laughs> Sorry about that. that all right. Have had let's, uh, let's roll through New Mexico Bowl from December 15th, North Texas, Utah State. Utah State clobbers them 52-13. to 13. Um, Even without... Their head coach, Utah State, was significantly better. North Texas didn't have Mason Fine. Wasn't much else to say about that one. All right. Roll. Cure Bowl. Tulane, Louisiana Lafayette. I had Louisiana on this. I really thought Billy Napier was going to do a better job. Willie Fritz, without an offensive coordinator, uh, I thought was better because it helped Louisiana Lafayette not have a clue what to do. It's exactly what I said. That's what I believed, and I really think Willie Fritz is actually trying to change his identity of that offense. We're going to see the weirdest looking triple option we've ever seen. Well, I think it's so it's going to be coming out of like the shotgun. Yes. And it's not so much option. I mean, it's still option based. If you took the spread RPO option and they just all had a big menage a trois gang bang, it would, it's what Willie Fritz is about to put out. Yeah. That's what I think. And and that's trying to get one game of. Because Fitness. Power Five schools will not hire a triple True. option coach. That's right. He he thinks he's being blacklisted because of that, which he probably is. He might be. He absolutely might be. Um, Las on. Vegas Bowl, Fresno State, Arizona State, Fresno State thirty-one, Arizona State twenty. Uh, this was not surprising to me. This game was boring. I was not expecting Herm to throw out a boring game. Um, I was bored. Well, look, Arizona State had several boring games this year, um, yeah. but this was only boring because it was like it didn't come down to the last possession. Fresno State was a better team all year long. Arizona State treated this like what you treat bowl games in early December, right? They That's they right. played a ton of players. They got a lot of reps for guys that are coming back next year. Uh, they still let the seniors play some, it's kind of a, a going out present, you know. But they were not concerned with winning this ball game. And it showed. And Fresno State was determined to prove that they could beat a Power 5 team. And they did it. And they did. So, uh, the Camellia Bowl, Georgia Southern Eastern Michigan. This was a fantastic game. Yeah. Uh, came down to a last-second kick. Uh, what was it, 23-21, Georgia yes. Southern? Uh, fantastic. I mean, best game of the day on that, that first oh, Saturday. Oh, yeah, that, that first Saturday. This was yeah. the most exciting. Georgia Southern is a, a lot of fun now. Um, they had a couple of just weird years there. But that is a program that is very proud of. Uh, where is it, Statesboro? Yep. I mean, they are – that's a proud, proud football program. Uh, and they, they earned that win. Um, New Orleans Bowl that night. Middle Tennessee, Appalachian State. Appalachian State have lost their coach. Uh, you and I both went MTSU. Yeah. And we were so wrong. I went with the hearts and the feels. Son playing last game with dad. Yeah, that didn't matter. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, App State did not care that – that was his last game to coach. No, I, App State was like, well, we don't have our coach anymore, so yeah. nah. Yeah. Like 45-13 to 13 was the final there. Uh, let's move over to the Boca Raton Bowl. Raton or Raton? Whatever. Either one. My guy. UAB, 37-13, to 13, and I had the under 43-and-a-half on that. So did you. Um, and I had Northern Illinois. I, I didn't even realize that the MAC was like 0 for forever. In bowl games in to ev- this point. In every bowl game? Yeah. A, Any until, bowl game there was? Well, now Ohio in the next game destroyed San Diego State, so, like, Ohio got that off their back. But, uh, yeah, Northern Illinois, I, I mean, they were, what, one in five in their last six bowl games before this? Listen. It was just terrible. You bet against Bill Clark, Listen. you get what you get. Now, you're right about that. 37-13 to 13 was a beating, That's just an absolute meltdown by Northern Illinois. Uh, Frisco Bowl, Ohio, San Diego State. This was another boring game. Getting the Mac off the schneid, though. 
Yeah, they did. 27 and nothing over San Diego State. San Diego State actually had their, their starting running back and their starting quarterback back. I think that's right. I think maybe the, the running back was back. I know the quarterback was, uh, but it did not matter. That they were they were playing in Frisco. Uh Frisco was, of course, where they hold the um uh Division II national championship game, where North Dakota State just won another one. So, uh Ohio looked good. Frank Solich, like he just keeps doing his thing. The guy yeah. just keeps winning. Uh running, you know, that that option based whatever that he ran at Nebraska. Yeah. That he won nine games a year at Nebraska with. Correct. It's not uh, good enough. Not good not, enough. Not good enough to Nebraska, though, I guess. Uh Nebraska, twenty five and or twenty five to one to win the national championship next year. Like, man, if you could short that, good gracious. Uh the Gasparilla Bowl, South Florida and Marshall. Um Marshall thirty eight to twenty. South Florida actually made it a ball game because Marshall jumped out early That's on right. him. Marshall's defensive coordinator is fantastic and he is also headed to Memphis. That's right. Um so hopefully, we'll see if hopefully he can stop the sieve there. Yeah, you got that right. Bahamas Bowl, Florida International and Toledo. We both took Florida International in that one, and that was a fun ball game. Yeah, it worked out. That was a that was a fun ball game. Florida International wins outright. Butch Davis is a hell of a coach. That, it's ex- that's exactly right. And so that, that I mean that was just that was a fun fun game. Uh, Western Michigan and BYU. Uh, that was the Potato Bowl. It's one of the easiest picks I had all year. Yeah, 49 to 18, BYU wins. Uh, the line was minus 12. We both said that wasn't near enough. Um, early in the game, it was like it was close at halftime. And then in the second half, they just warmed out. I thought you were about to say it was close early. I was like, well, they all start out 0 0. Well, yeah, so, but at, at you, halftime, you, you get to start out tied. No, at halftime, it was, uh, here we go. It was Western Michigan 10, BYU 7. That's right. And then I BYU has a 28 point third quarter. Yeah, that, that'll do it. That'll do it. Birmingham Bowl, Memphis and Wake oh, Forest. Oh, if I could have set Mike Norvell on fire this day, I would have. Uh, well, I, so I, I didn't was, even bet a side. I no, pretty, I did. I bet Wake plus the five, but I, was, I also had the over 74. I was pretty devastated. And I mean, throwing things angry. I don't, I don't really let these games bother me that bad usually. I lose a lot. I win, win some. It happens. It, this is just... He's he does this all the time, and and it's just because I don't I don't know if he's just not smart. I don't I don't know what happens. It might just be because of you. He's he just doesn't like me. He he might just be doing it to you. He's uh, but thirty seven thirty four Wake Forest wins the game. Um, another AAC chance to beat a Power Five team goes by the wayside. God, uh, it would it would have played well. It would have played well. It would have been nice. Uh, the Armed Forces Bowl, Houston and Army, the game that got Major Applewhite canned. 70 to 14 Army. This game this, was awesome. Uh, it was 42 to 7 at the half. For a route, this was one of the most entertaining routes. It, it was, yes, it was very entertaining. It was never boring. There's nothing more patriotic than watching an Armed Forces team drop a 70 burger yeah. on kind of a tool like Major Applewhite. I mean, just just <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, Houston's what entire defensive line sat out this game. All of them. All I mean, of it, them. And, and the quarterback was hurt. So yeah, like, just like go get all those points, just all of them you want. Yeah, we both took the under because we thought Army would do like these twenty minute Some more drives. sustained drives. And well, I, Army I scored, scored in three plays every drive. Yeah, it, it was, was just like what the hell just happened. It was bananas. Hand off off the guard for twenty eight yards. Uh, all right, we're, we're not mean, it, going under. They were going between the tackles for 50 every time. For, it just it, it blew my mind. Uh, yeah. Uh, what what was the rushing total on that? I mean, it had to be crazy, I right? Got you. Here, now, I, I got you. You got it already I, up? I already got it pulled up. Okay. Uh, 507 rushing yards for Army. 85 passing yards. <laughs> yeah, 592 oh, total. Uh, the so Dollar good. General Bowl. Let's move on to that yeah. one. Uh, Buffalo and Troy. Troy wins 42 to 32. Uh, Neil Brown, a finally. nice, uh, a nice farewell. Finally getting him a spot. Yeah, he's uh, headed off to West Virginia, I'll, and I think West Virginia might have upgraded. I will be, I will be pulling coach. for the Mountaineers. Mountaineers. Um, I, I love Neil Brown. I just love that guy. This was a a fun ball game. Oh no, this was a great ball game. This was this was great to watch. Um, man, I I was shocked to see that so many people around the country were on Buffalo. 
Well, Buffalo like, was was ten and three, ten and I, two. I thought these um, were evenly matched games, and I I thought it would be close. Well, it's because everybody was in love with Tyree Jackson, right? Yeah, like that. Man, I mean, everybody was on. But I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa! I mean, y'all don't remember this guy? This team is good. N- Neil Brown is. Uh, oh, like, he 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 loves being in that position. Right? He's he's going to be hard to replace. You got that right. Uh, Hawaii Bowl, Louisiana Tech and Hawaii. We both had Hawaii. Yeah, we were both dead wrong. I went to bed. Louisiana Tech thirty-one to fourteen. <laughs> I don't blame you on that. Uh, I sat up and watched until uh, middle of third quarter. Oh no, that's way too long. Um, well, I mean, at that point, it was only yeah. It, I mean, it was seven to three Hawaii at the half, which was really I was, slow. I was really about boring. to say it was seven to three. Yeah, it was seven to three. I'm out. And and then. When Louisiana Tech scores two quick touchdowns. Y'all got any more of them Army Houston games? I'd have stayed up for that. Give me something. I'd have stayed up for that. First responder bowl was canceled five minutes into it. First weather uh, caused cancellation for a bowl (laughs) game. It was sponsored by Surf Pro, whose motto is, like it never happened. Yeah, which is awesome. I mean, you can't make this shit up. No. I mean, it's it's you ridiculous. can't you can like if 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 we wrote a a screenplay and we made that happen, people would be like, "Don't you think that's a little on the nose?" Well, like, so so the biggest on, thing guys. here was like, had or had bowl games not been in such a a tight window where they're trying to fill programming all day, yeah, they could have eventually gotten this game in. Right, so like regular season games, they don't care when it happens. You can have a eight hour delay, right. and they are still getting the game in. I think when it comes sh- to bowl games, and and it's that tight TV window, I, they're I like, have a, yeah, I have a recommendation it. for ESPN. I think they should have waited it out, played it. You don't air it; you can live stream it. But then, like as soon as the last game is over, instead of putting the three P to Sports Center on, play it then. Yeah, just play play it the, the game and then game. play it the next morning before like the pregame for the next games. Just play it. Play you get to you air it twice. You live stream it once. People are gonna watch it. Yeah. I would have. I would have. I would have not have stayed up to watch it. I would have woke up the next morning and rewatched it. Yeah, all day long. I'd have watched it. Yeah, I mean you you still have pro, you can still have programming. That's it. Like don't don't air like move on with the TV schedule. That's fine. But let them play the game, and then. Live stream, it would have lived in infamy, and it would have been a great story, even better than how it ended up, even though it's kind of funny. Uh, the Quick Lane Bowl, Minnesota 34, Georgia Tech 10. Man, Paul uh, Johnson on his way out. Brother, don't let the door hit you. Boy, they just uh, – Now, Minnesota did roll at the end of the season. They had a strong finish. P.J. Fleck yeah. kind of got that boat a-rolling. Well, I mean, they did with like the win over over Wisconsin, right? But even when they but, even when they lost a couple of games at the uh, maybe one game, I think so they, here, they here's played the deal. great. They they, they lost, uh, so they beat Wisconsin at the yeah, end of the year. The game right. before that, they lost, lost by to ten to Northwestern. Northwestern. Northwestern, yeah. They beat Purdue forty-one to ten. Yep. But then the game before that, they lost at Illinois fifty-five no, the, to thirty-one. It was, after, it was after the Illinois game. After the Illinois game, they went on a little bit of a roll where they played Northwestern tough. Well, I mean, they still lost by ten. Yeah, but I, I, watched At home. That, I watched that game, man. I, I, I mean, they did play them tough. I'm not, they, I'm not going to say. I, that, game was, that game was a close Either way, game. That was a good game. Either way, you would think Georgia Tech would play good. hard for Paul Johnson. No. Right? You would think so. But, no, uh, but no they did not. They, they were totally fine. And Jeff Collins there, by the way, fantastic hire. He is going to have that thing rolling in a few years. It's going to take a few years. But that dude can recruit. He understands how to change the culture there. I love Jeff Collins. I love everything. He should have stayed. That, he should have stayed at Temple. Man, no, not if you're from Georgia. Uh, like, good gracious, Georgia Tech. He's gonna have all them rappers up in Bobby Dodd Stadium. I mean, imagine like T I or no uh, uh, T Pain. He's from Atlanta, right? Two chains, two chains from Atlanta, and all these dudes. Okay. Goody Mob. Okay, I, I'm just saying. All like, right. you're gonna have all these Atlanta rappers, like. Even though they could never get into school at Georgia Tech, they all gonna be sporting Georgia Tech gear. Okay, right? I don't know. I don't know about that. That, I, but you know what? We'll come back to it because we'll still be doing the show in three years, so we'll just come back and check it out again. Uh, Cheese It Bowl. This was uh, rough. Yeah, these are two coaches that I like, and I didn't like watching them. Uh, TCU ten, California seven. 
this is bad. I mean, this, this is, is bad. And here's the thing. I would like to benefit the fact of saying, oh, this is good defensive football. No, no, no. This was bad football. No, this is just this, bad this everything. Was, this was bad football. I mean, the, the defenses were fine. Well, I mean, uh, they but didn't the, the offenses much, were so was, bad. It was boring. Yeah, it, it was. It, it was not just boring. It was bad. I mean, but they, it, it turned from boring into really entertaining the more interceptions we got. That's right. right. Uh, next one up, Independence Bowl, Temple and Duke. This was probably my biggest disappointment, not being a big game that I bet a lot on or whatever. Like it didn't cost me a whole bunch. It was twenty-seven to twenty-one Temple at, it, at the half, and then it wasn't. And then it ended fifty-six to twenty-seven Duke. When Temple I, did not score in the second half. When I saw the interim, on that vaunted Duke defense. When I saw that interim coach at Temple give that pregame speech to the media about being so fired up about being in Shreveport, I thought, man, I want, I want such good. Like, come on, Cutcliffe, you, you can throw that man. What was his name? Ed Foley. I don't know the answer to that. I That's think it's probably Ed Foley. The same on me. Um, but but I was fired up. I was ready to go play for the guy. I Ed wagered, Foley was I wagered fantastic. some money on him. And I thought anybody's going to be the want to is there in this game. No, it didn't matter. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm a, I'm a fan. If it, if it is Ed Foley, shares a last name with one of my favorite people in the world. I don't know who that is. Axel Foley. Okay. Beverly Hills Cop. That's Eddie not, Murphy, baby. Eddie not, Murphy. That's not a real people. No, okay. but he's still one of my favorites because that's my favorite movie of all time. Hey, let's get to uh, the Pinstripe Bowl that I had a lot of fun with. Uh, that that Mark Rick decided to leave the game for. I'm out. It's like deuces. Thirty five to three, Wisconsin absolutely beats the brakes off of them. Uh, whew. I think Wisconsin needed this too. Uh, yeah, yeah. Heading this into was, next year, this was a bad season for them. They needed just one time to whip somebody's butt. Before they had four months of off. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Um, Texas Bowl, Vandy, and Baylor. I, this game was fun for me. The, uh, this this well, was, was a fun game fun to watch. watch no, period. this was a fun game to watch. I love Matt Rule. I'm so, like, I don't know the man. I'm just proud of him. That's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I know that's so dumb. That's but not dumb. I loved him at Temple, what he did, the way he coaches, the just the style of football he plays. And then I thought, you're taking this Baylor job. Please don't take this Baylor job. Please don't do this. And you know what? But he turned them into, into a pretty good team. They're fun. And they're not like the high-flying Baylor, we're going to drop 80 on you. But they're fun. And they're getting They hung 45 on Vandy. And Vandy's defense priest out. Now, you, you're right about that. 45-38 was Vanderbilt the score Vanderbilt played in this pretty one. well in this game, too, now. Yeah, not, no, no, this, no. This, is, this wasn't all Baylor. This was, uh, I mean, this came down into the ballgame. And, and you can't ask for more than that. Yep. Uh, Music City Bowl. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. What's up, Gus? What's up, Gus, bus? This Bring is, it back, baby. This is back in the day. Back in my younger time, this was called a slump buster. Uh, this is this is this is things are not going my way. Man, uh, when I get a chance to get it in, we're getting it in. Believe that. And he got it in. He did against Purdue, God. man. Sixty three to fourteen, and and they could have put up even more. Than oh, that. they they it they, could have been worse. It was fifty six to seven at the half. So, and I'm not I'm not exaggerating. I'm they watching. They could have scored eighty if they wanted. I'm to. watching this game. And I see clock ticking off. We're in a group text with some other guys. And the clock's ticking down to about to go into halftime. And I thought, man, that was a beatdown. And I left and, like, ran some errands. And you guys kept texting about the game. And I'm like, game's over. They beat the hell out of them. I got home and I was like, oh, man, that was just the first half. That was half. just the first half. They, they done whooped them so bad, I couldn't even see straight. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't even realize it was half. I thought it was ball game. 57-7, <laughs> to seven, I thought, man, that's a whipping. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't done yet. I, I mean, it was a whipping. It was a whipping. But gracious. Do you think, I know we're going to, oh, do you think that helps Gus at all? in like some motivation, some goodwill for his fans, getting some people off his ass just for a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think it does. I think so too. Because I think it, it proves the point that because he took back over play calling duties before that game, I think that helps kind of prove like, hey, Ohio State only put up twenty on these fools. I put up sixty three right. with guys out hurt and all yeah. this. Like in a bowl just game, imagine a bunch of these guys coming back. Even playing, so, yeah. yeah, okay. 
Uh, Camping World Bowl, Syracuse and West Virginia. This was actually a, an interesting game. Uh, it did not uh, go over the 67. Nope. Uh, you could tell West Virginia missed Will Greer. You could tell that Dana Holgerson was kind of, eh, like, you know, frustrated, frustrated, and and maybe not all there, uh, as obviously he is the new Houston head coach. Um, but yeah, Dan, uh, Dino Babers. That's a dude. Fan, that was that's, that's that was a, a lot of fun. No, I'm 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 firmly in the Dino factor. Th- this was not surprising much because Dana Holgerson teams one and five against the spread in bowl games, zero and three uh, with two straight up losses as a favorite, uh, and West Virginia was a favorite in this game. Uh, I think they went off. As Syracuse, like, minus three, the, the line had moved, like, ten and a half points. Yeah. I mean, it's just crazy. Uh, Alamo Bowl, Washington State, Iowa State. Another fun game. Another fun game. Uh, 28 to 26 came down to, what, a, a two-point conversion? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, this was your boy, yep. Mike Leach. He got that win. I got the cover, but he got the win. And I, I think we could take that all day, right? Oh, no. Totally. Totally. He was – It was. this was a great game. Yeah. No, it, it definitely was. Man, uh, Campbell's name is getting thrown out for some NFL jobs. I, can, I mean, I could see that. I think the NFL wants some college dudes. They want some new blood. Yeah, and I mean, Campbell, like, what he ran at Toledo, what he does at Iowa State, like, I, he teaches toughness. I, but, don't, I don't know that I disagree with it. Uh, Peach Bowl, Michigan, Florida. What do you make of this? I thought this was a boring game I didn't want to see to begin with, so let's start off there. A Forty-one to fifteen, Florida. Uh, I mean, it, it was a beatdown. Yeah, yeah, it was. It really um, was. It, it was. It this was, was the best Felipe Franks looked in. I don't know his life. Uh, probably. Yeah. For, for for the history of him, when it gives Florida fans a whole lot of hope towards next year. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know what he can do against uh, against Georgia, but against uh, Michigan's, you know, for the most part, backups. Like he looked really good. Uh, Florida came out ready to play in this game, and that's that's why you hired Dan Mullen, right? That's uh, he knows how to motivate guys. Correct. Um, Belk Bowl, whoo, Coach Boom, Will Muschamp, what are you doing? I what are you doing, man? That was twenty eight to nothing. <clears throat> that was bad. That was real bad. And and Virginia just completely stuffed them, uh, pretty much the whole ball game. South Carolina two hundred sixty one total yards, forty three rushing yards, and. Virginia had 205. So, yeah, that was uh, that was ugly. That the was Arizona Bowl, uh, supposed to be two really, really high-powered offenses, Arkansas State and Nevada. Uh, I had to go back and watch this game the next day. Uh, I actually did. I, I DVR'd all the bowl games. I go back and watch them. Just, but it's just a thing of mine. I don't know why you're looking at me crazy. Uh, Arkansas State decided, hey, we're going to move the football a lot, but we're going to turn it over at every possible inopportune moment. So, like, they get down to the goal line and, like, fumble the ball. They get down to the eight and throw a pick in the end zone. They get down, and, and What about Nevada, then? Uh, Nevada never really moved the football. Like, at all. And ended up coming away with a win. Like, Arkansas State missed field goals. Like, this was Arkansas State's game. And Nevada I remember we did the breakdown stole. of this game, and I was like, I don't I don't know anything about either one of these two teams. I'm not going to watch. I, Both I of their offenses I ranked like. I couldn't have told you that they were two high-powered offenses that were Both of their offenses were top 25 in the country. And we end up with a 16-13 game in overtime. It's good. Yeah, it was It was. Nice. Not, who did I pick in this game? Did I get it right? No, no, you picked Arkansas State. Did I get the over under right? Uh, yeah, you had under sixty. I don't. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. yeah. There was no no. Analysis. I don't know. I don't there was know no analysis. It. That's just throwing a dart. All right, uh, Cotton Bowl. We were <sighs> so wrong. It's not even funny. No, we already talked about this in the college football whatever recap. But Notre Dame three, Clemson thirty. Uh, now that we know what we know about Clemson, yeah, a lot this of ain't people that surprising. A lot of people need to apologize to Notre Dame right now. Right now, today, there needs to be a lot of, my bad, I'm sorry, shouldn't have said all that yang about you. Because Clemson just did the same thing to Alabama that they did Notre Dame. Yeah, I mean, they did the same thing to everybody all year. So if Notre Dame didn't belong, well, maybe Bama didn't belong either. Maybe we should just go back to the day where the AP just picks one and we just don't even play a game. That's what Debo said. Because we just got all these blowouts. 
As Dabo said that easy on, he was like, man, just forget it. Let me say, sorry. Why, to why the are we Irish. even playing? I mean, I picked the Irish, but, you know, I, I lost. Yeah, sometimes you miss one. Yeah, we Alabama, 60%. Oklahoma. You didn't miss the, the spread on that. Oh, one. no, I didn't miss this one. 45 to 34. Uh, I had Alabama. You had Oklahoma. We already recapped that one. Go watch did, that video. Did Bama, hang on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause for a minute. Did Bama cover in the Auburn game? They covered that one. Yeah, they covered the Auburn game. I was going to say, I can't imagine them finishing the year not covering their last four games. No, they did not cover the against last three. They, didn't they cover did not Auburn, cover uh, Georgia. Uh, Citadel. They did not cover um State. They did before. cover state yeah, because the that, line well zero. The final line was uh was twenty three and a half, so they covered by half a point. What was the opening line? Opening line twenty five and a half. Okay, so they covered all of them then. Well, no, they didn't cover that because it was 24. Oh, that's right. So, yeah. yeah, yeah so they, well, then you could safely say they did not cover. They they didn't cover in like five of their last six. Man, that's. But the line got so bananas. Like, well, I get it. Who's favored by 25 and a half over Mississippi State this year? I'm just saying. That's the, that's the only I'm team. Just, I'm just saying. So, um, so yeah, you can't, I mean, not covering, covering like when the line gets that astronomical is just. They didn't cover the last three. Uh, military bowl, Virginia Tech and Cincinnati. Now this this was, was a, game. a ball game. This is a game. Yeah, they were handing was, out touchdowns. I was, all, I, was all, I was all over this game. Uh, well, no, I mean it, it, you were all over watching it, right? Were you talking about the military bowl, Cincinnati, what, what, Virginia Tech? Yeah, we we both had Cincy minus six, and Cincy won thirty five to thirty. Well, no, they didn't cover. I'm just talking about watching it. Oh, oh watching? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, they said Washington. Washington. I was no, like, are we I at Washington you're just talking already? About watching it? We have completely derailed. See, this is what happens when we're trying to do all of them at once. Yeah. Um, it's like this was a, lot, a whole lot of fun. whole lot of fun. Uh, Virginia Tech actually showed some life. Uh, since he did not look like... They still can't stop anybody on defense. Oh, Virginia Tech? No. Yes. No. Uh, but Cincinnati gave up more against Virginia Tech on offense than I was... Like, because Cincinnati's defense has been, like, top five, top ten all year. It's been great, but you, you give Fuente, what, two and a half weeks to prepare for this game? Uh, I mean, this was New Year's Eve, so. Oh, a month. man, yeah, a month, and he had the whole month. That's right. Yeah, no, no, you're right. That's just different. Uh, Sun Bowl, we talked a lot of crap about the Sun Bowl, and uh, deservedly so, because oh, yeah. it was awful. No, this um, this is how you put babies to sleep. Yeah, 14-13, to 13, Stanford wins, and it was not worth Watching uh, Red Box Bowl, uh, hey, just as bad. The the Pac twelve. <clears throat> why don't you give us a good bowl game? It'd be nice. I mean, my boy Leach showed up. Other than him, I mean Stanford uh, uh, one by one. Well, I'm not talking about winning. Oh, I don't care talking about, about winning. A, I'm just talking, talking about being interesting. entertaining, being interesting. Washington made it a game at the end of it, kind of. Yeah, but they the, covered, the but audience was, had already turned the TV. But it was, off by that but point. it was bad the whole time. I mean, they didn't play. They played one exciting game, and that was the Iowa State Washington State game, right? Yeah, uh, Oregon seven to six in this one. So I mean, if if you like defensive struggles, but but this is not defensive struggles because of great defense. This is once again this is bad football. Yeah, it is. This was bad football. No, you you're right. You're right. Red Box Bowl seven to six. Oregon wins that one. Uh, what do we think of these two coaches coming out of this? Do we think this is just a neither one of them gave a damn, and one of them just happened to give a damn a little less? Than no, the other? I think that D'Antonio actually gave a damn, and I think that Crystal Ball uh, was prepping for next year. If this is D'Antonio's give a damn, that's gonna be rough. Uh, yeah, they they need to fix their offensive coaching staff. Uh, it's something fierce, man. Something fierce. <laughs> uh, re- recruit some uh, some offensive linemen. Yeah, you that's, need that's those. What you need. You need those. Uh, Missouri Boom. loses in the Liberty Bowl, Boom. thirty-eight to thirty-three. You called this one. I had this one. Loved every minute of it. Yep. This uh, is this is one of my biggest plays of the weekend too. Gundy, Gundy, baby, thirty-eight, thirty-three. Catching nine points against Missouri. Come on, man. Holiday Get off Bowl. Me. Props to uh, to our boys in West Lot Pirates. Northwestern goes I, down big. I was stressing this game so bad. Yeah, well, you had Northwestern on the money line, right? And money line. I had them. Oh. They they I had are down to everything. They are down twenty to three at the half, and Northwestern comes out with a twenty eight to nothing third quarter. That'll like, do it. That that will do it. So That'll they put they a win smile that one. On your face, thirty one to twenty. The Gator Bowl that evening, uh, we both called this one. Oh, this was uh, the easiest. Fairly easily. Uh, Texas A and M fifty two, NC State thirteen. It was, it was never big. really that close. 
couple games I was chesty right on. Couple I, mean, I was wrong. Yeah, a couple you were wrong, but this one you were you were dead oh. on. Uh, we were both correct on this one. Uh, Tuesday, January first, the Outback Bowl. We both had Iowa plus seven. Uh, Mississippi State. Let, Joe Moorhead, if you end up watching this, I'm a I'm gonna do you a big favor. Quit and give give the no, job to Bill Clark. No, 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 no. Don't quit. Uh, just use the talent that your team has, and don't try and fit a square peg into a round hole. Nick Fitzgerald could not throw the football the entire four years that he was there. Dan Mullen didn't put him in a position to fail. He found a way to get the ball into playmakers' hands, not have the boy throw it downfield, and and he was successful with that. Completely agree. Nick Fitzgerald threw two picks. They had a fumble. Iowa scored 17 points off of those three turnovers. That's the ball game. It was 27 to 22, and Iowa capitalized on every one of those mistakes for Mississippi State. And Mississippi State rushed to have a coach. They were desperate. They were thirsty. We talked about this last year. They wanted to get him before that early signing day. And I said, You're going to make a decision in two weeks that's going to affect you for four years. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Nick okay. Fitzgerald was 14 out of 32 for 152 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. He just couldn't – if you gave Bill Clark this defense, they could have won the national championship. No, oh, let's – I mean – Let's not go crazy here, all right? Like, it, they could have done – they could have done some magical things. They might have won the SEC. That, I mean, possible. I don't know. That's an exaggeration, too. He's, he's a mean, much better coach. Looks, he's a much uh, better you, coach than Joe Moorhead. You beat LSU, you beat Alabama, you win the SEC West, and then it's just one game. I'll tell you that he would have done more with that defensive front that they had that is just disgusting that I'm really glad is gone. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I will agree with that. Um, in their biggest games, I think they, they scored less than a touchdown or a touchdown or less in, like, multiple games. Kentucky, LSU, yeah. Alabama. Yeah, just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Uh, Kentucky, Kentucky and speaking Penn of. State. Yeah, the Citrus Bowl. Um, Stoops. Yeah, man. Uh, look, I I told you about Kentucky. I talked you into them. Paid out pretty well, didn't it? it no, nope, it, it worked out well. Twenty seven, well. twenty four. Kentucky. Mark Stoops. Uh, d- now, the All bad right. thing is, was this Josh Allen? Okay, I will tell you this. So I kind of poo pooed Josh Allen the whole time because you kept beefing him up, and that was more of a, <laughs> a shot at you than than him. Um, I kind of liked the chestiness of him saying, "If you don't take me number one, I'm gonna wreck your world." Oh, like, yeah. I'm gonna come get you. That dude, that dude's got some stank on him, man. He's gonna be a pro's pro. Yeah, he's I'm, he's I'm pretty excited to watch him play in the NFL. He's got an NFL sized body. I oh, mean, yeah. he plays a pro style defense. That dude's gonna he's gonna wreck some offenses. Yes, he is. Uh final four well, three games. Uh Fiesta Bowl, UCF LSU. Hey. LSU forty, UCF thirty two. They did well. This was um this was fun to watch. Yep. It, it was it was back and forth a lot. Uh LSU was was fairly dominant, even though the scoreboard wouldn't say so. Like, if you took the stats from this game and put them into the Alabama Clemson game, then that score would make more sense, right? Yeah. If you took the uh the stats from the Alabama Clemson game and put them in this game, that score would make more sense, right? So either way, um, uh, because I mean LSU just dominated. Yeah, LSU UCF. didn't play very dis- disciplined, and that's what frustrated me. LSU five hundred and fifty-five total yards. I UCF like two hundred and fifty. Uh both teams, uh UCF twelve penalties for 104 yards. LSU fourteen for one forty five. That's what I didn't like. Well that's sick. It, my gosh, uh, you had, you know, the the freaking stadium janitor playing cornerback for LSU by by the second half, you know. So we, we were going pretty low. Yeah. yeah. It was uh it was on out there. Rose Bowl, Ohio State and Washington. Ohio State jumped out to a what, twenty eight to three lead? It was pretty bad and then Washington scores like twenty points to make it close. Yeah. And, and give me a backdoor cover. And got us a cover. Woo-hoo! We appreciate that. Uh Mr. Peterson, we love you for it. The Sugar Bowl. We could not have been more wrong about this, and I swear to God, you Texas fans will never let us live this thing down. Uh, I told you in the video that there was a shot that Georgia wouldn't show up for this game. 
and they lost some players. They had some guys sit out, and it wasn't that as an excuse. Nope. It was Texas nope. beat their brains they in. They got their ass whipped. They absolutely got their ass whipped. And what do you want me to do? Sometimes we pick wrong. Well, look, here's the deal. I this is this is a mistake. I tell you what, this was it was on you though. This That's is a, this, you're the one they no, don't like. This this I know you say <laughs> me and you say the exact same thing, but I'm the ass. It's okay. I'm good with that. Well, we didn't say the same thing. You well, you were talking well, trash yeah, about how they didn't trash. deserve to be there. And, well, no, I didn't like the matchup. Never mind. We're not going to get into that anyway. Neither here nor there. I made my points. I was trying to bait you. I'm sorry. I made them clear. <laughs> um, I but I also forgot rule number one: <clears throat> don't bet on fraudulent coaches. And I've made it abundantly clear: Kirby Smart is a fraud. Well, he is a fraud. He's a fraud. Don't don't Kirby's bet on uh, the number five team that gets left out of the playoff <clears throat> because they are now one and four straight up in bowl games, and I, I believe zero oh and five. I don't. I don't believe in that. I just don't believe in that garbage. I think you don't like trends. I, I don't. Know that. No, I don't care about. I don't care that it happened nineteen times, and so if it happens to me, it happened twenty, and if it didn't, then I was the guy that broke the trend. I don't believe in that crap. I believe <clears throat> Kirby Smart, when he plays in a hostile environment or a neutral side environment against a good team that hits him in the mouth, so far, he's over. Okay? Yeah, okay? And and if you want to give me the Notre Dame game, please go away because I watched that game. That was not a hostile environment. There were more Georgia fans there, and that wasn't a very good Notre Dame team last year. So South Carolina this year. But that's not a very good South Carolina team. That's not a good so, team. So you didn't if play you're going a good up team. against a team that is uh, that is that's a good team that is equal. Yes, not even equal. Not even equal. LSU's not equal to Georgia. I don't think this Texas team, talent wise, is anywhere close to equal. Look at the rankings of of, of the stars on these kids. They're not equal. I mean, Texas got some good recruits. No, they, they got good recruits. That's not who was playing on on the game though. No, you're right. You're right. And and they just whipped their ass, just like LSU just whipped their ass. No. He cannot go into a place where the other team is close to him in talent and and where he just doesn't dominate home field advantage. Now, you're right. You are right. He hits um, the panic button quick, too. Yeah. That's another guy that's got an itchy trigger finger. Yeah, he is that panic button, and, and then it goes out. Uh, if you want to see our college football playoff national championship reaction, we have a a long video for that. You can go watch that thing. Um 40 minutes of fun. It's a whole lot of fun. Uh, so that is our college football bowl recap. That is also the end of, uh, of our college football podcast uh, for for this week. Uh, we're going to run into some NFL stuff. Don't forget, tunicatravel.com, winningcureseverything.com. Let's go. <laughs>